All right, Kelsey here. Um, I wanted to introduce Kyle, our Ag Director, and he's going to give us an update on apples to pick this weekend. Yes, thank you, Kelsey. We have a very exciting weekend coming up. We are working our way through the apple picking season. We're coming on to our later day varieties, and that means Evercrisp, that means Brayburn, and we are standing now in the Evercrisp uh, as we speak. And these trees are loaded. Like, they... There are a lot of apples here, a lot of beautiful Evercrisp apples. This is a super popular variety. Um, it's almost like the late season honey crisp, I like to say. It's a little bit different taste, but um, it has that nice crisp, crunchy texture and just super sweet and delicious. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that. I, would, I will say that out of all the questions that I get the most, it is always, when is Evercrisp going to be ready? Yeah. And People so, wait for this one. Yes, they do. And I have some very exciting news. We're going to be opening up our Evercrisp in Brayburn this Saturday. So you folks will have access to these delicious apples this weekend. First year's on it. First year's on it. That's right. So Kelsey, what do you like to use Evercrisp apples for? Well, I, you know, I think they're one of the best just fresh eating apples, obviously. Like they're a really nice texture, very sweet. Um, but, you know, they can be used in pies or applesauces. Uh, Evercrisp, they stay good for months and months. And so you can pick some Evercrisp apples and put them in your uh, refrigerator and they will be good through probably February, March. Um, uh, they, they're called Evercrisp for a reason. And so they'll stay good all winter long, essentially. Yeah. You can use them in pies, any baked goods that you would use any apples for. Um, they have some nice uh, acidity to them as well. So good for, for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I really like Evercrisp just right off of a tree. And you guys can see the size we have on some of these apples this year. I mean, just, just look how large, large that Evercrisp is. Some really, really good size all, all across all right. the board. This is one of this is one of my favorite ways to Should try an try apple. It? I always give it what I call a nice, good old belly rub right and off the tree. Rub. Nice, shine it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. And then just take a bite. Mm. I don't know if you could hear that crunch, but <laughs> it was very crunchy and very, very juicy. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A nice, nice sweetness to it. Not overbearing like a honey crisp by any means, but has that similar traits mm. of that sweetness for a late season apple. Oh man, that was a really good apple. Mm -hmm. What else are we going to be picking this weekend? Well, um, so we only have the two varieties over here on this side. However, we will be having bins of Pink Lady mm. up here as well. So you guys will have access to Pink Ladies as, uh, also over here by the Evercrisp. I know that's another really popular later season we have. And guys, Pink Ladies this year, if you have not had one, highly recommend. They are phenomenal this They're year. They're extra good this year for some reason. I don't know. They got a little extra sun or a mm -hmm. little bit of extra love, but they're really delicious this year. So. Mm -hmm. They are excellent in pies. Pink Ladies are excellent in pies. Yes, guys. So, uh, so we've had a pretty early season with a lot of our varieties across the board. Uh, things are ripening very, very early. However, weather and the forecast, guys, we're still warm. Uh, we had a little bit of a cold this morning here on Wednesday morning. Got down to 31 was our low up here. Did not affect our apples um, by any means. And Evercrisp is a really hardy apple. And they'll, and they'll survive a, a pretty good frost. But we didn't get cold enough to be worried about our orchard by any means of the, of the stretch. So That's right. So we'll, we should have apples, hopefully for the rest of the season while we're open, um, weather permitting um, through mm. November 3rd. Uh, that last weekend, there's always a chance of frost and we don't know what the weather's gonna bring that far in advance, but um, you know, our hope is that we can keep picking um, through November 3rd. Mm. As long as the weather is, is fair for us, you guys will have, we'll be able to come out and pick some apples. And now we will announce if we do have a frost coming that, you know, we're, we'll be done in the orchard. Um, but as far as right now goes in the next week, week and a half, I'm not seeing any of that. But yeah. the one variable we will never control is the weather, especially in Nebraska here in October. Uh, you, they don't call it fall for nothing. They actually call it fall because you get all the kinds of different weather throughout the fall time. No. 
<laughs> we can edit that one out. <laughs> So when you guys come out this weekend to pick some apples, we also have mums uh, still available. We did cover those up with some nice frost blankets. So they're still blooming and looking phenomenal. Uh, they're going to last throughout the weekend. And we're still running our two for 20 on our mums this year. Uh, pumpkins too. We have lots of pumpkins out there in the field still. So you guys can come here, get some apples, get some mums, get some pumpkins, and have a nice October fall day. Yeah. Don't forget to decorate your doorstep for Halloween. We have a the mums, like Kyle said, and lots of varieties of pumpkins that are really neat. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, with that, um, we hope to see you guys apple picking this weekend. Get your ever crisp apples and happy harvest. Happy harvest.